Hello and welcome to another edition of Community Forum. My name is Joseph Feaster. I am the host of the program. And as I always say, I have another great program for you today. Today I have two individuals who will play a instrumental part in how government functions here in Stoughton. Uh, they are the moderator, Adam Dawkins, and the deputy moderator, Gene Fleming. And we're going to have an opportunity to hear from them as Adam departs to go to the seminary uh, to become a priest and as Gene takes over as the moderator for his unexpired term. So having these great elected officials in here with me today is a definitely a joy and I want to welcome you to the program. Adam, Gene. Thank you welcome. very much. You. Good to be here. You know the moderator position is such an important position in, uh, in town government. Uh, when you have a representative form of government or even when you have a, a, a open system is still the moderator is the one who runs town meeting and this extends all the way back to I guess the Puritan times uh, mm -hmm. as far as that. But let's talk about, let's start, uh, I know everyone knows both of you so well in this town. I know Gene as I mentioned to you off air you were the uh, town manager when I came to town in 1998. And so you've been in town government, you have uh, served on, as a town meeting rep uh, as well. And I know, it, Adam, you have done much in this town beside being a moderator also. So let's talk about it. Let's set the stage by you telling folks a little bit about you, what your plans are, because I know you're, as I indicated, are going to the seminary. And then, Gene, I want to go to you and talk about you and remind folks about all the great things you have done in town as well. So, Adam, I'll start with you. Well, thank you, Joseph. It's good to be here and good to see you. Um, <clears throat> um, when I was elected town moderator in 2017, which was frankly a bit to my surprise, I, I ran for the position and, and didn't really expect I was going to win, but did win, and so here I am. Uh, it, it was. It was. Uh, it became a, a, an enormous joy for me to serve in this role from the beginning. Um, in the midst of all of that, I was doing my own sort of personal discernment along with my congregation at Trinity Church on, on Sumner Street here in Stoughton, Trinity Episcopal Church, uh, and with the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts, and um, and and was um, had, had been experiencing what I thought was a call to ordained ministry to the priesthood. Um, and uh, and had some had a year's worth of conversation with my congregation at Trinity about that, um, and then finally also with the bishop in the diocese of Massachusetts, um, and was uh, was extended an offer to by by them that to to enter into the formation process formally uh, on the road to ordained ministry as a priest in the Episcopal Church, and so all that was happening in my life as I was town moderator in Stoughton. Um, and, and, you know, and so I had this sort of side discernment going on of saying, gosh, you know, following this other call means that I would, not, I would no longer be able to do the things that I enjoy doing so much. My career in, in, in Boston that I've, I've enjoyed so much at, at, at Trinity Church in Copley Square, for instance. And, and um, you know, my, my, my life and my work here in Stoughton, it meant untethering from all of those things. And um, that part is really, really, really bittersweet for me because, it, it, because following this call that I, I've experienced now means letting go of things that, that I love and a place that I love. Um, and and that's um, so it's this sort of calling and sending forth that I'm that that's happened in my life over the past few years um, And so it, it really is um, it, it's a great joy, but also incredibly bittersweet at the same time Well uh, being a, a, a Christian I know that uh, when God calls 
uh, <laughs> one listens, and so therefore yes, I'm, I'm sure he gave you the calling. Well, and, uh, and 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 you have listened. Just just a little bit more on that. Now, how long will the process be for for the ordination ordination yeah. and to, uh, into the priesthood? So over the past two years, I've been studying part time at the Boston College School of Theology and Ministry. So I've done a year's worth of full time work under my belt. I have three years left in in this in this program before I would come back to this diocese in Massachusetts, which is all of the eastern part of the state, some sort of Framingham to Nantucket and Newburyport to Attleboro, so it's that entire eastern swath of the state, which is the, the diocese that's sending me to, to, to seminary. Um, so presumably after the end of three years, I will come back to this diocese to be ordained and hopefully to serve here locally someplace. Uh, in in uh, in this diocese. Well, I can remember when you were elected. In fact, I had you on uh, on the program on Community Forum, and I can remember sitting in the ro room over here as you were thinking about how you were going to proceed as a uh, as the town moderator, and who you would select as a deputy moderator. And you said you wanted to reach back and get a person who was strong, committed, uh, well known, and able to be deputy moderator, and it seems that you have accomplished that. Absolutely. Uh, in selecting Gene Fleming for that particular role. And it's good that you did, now that your <laughs> God has given you another calling. So, uh, Gene, let's, let's again, let's, you know, I know there's so many people in town that know you, but my being, I met you early in my arrival here in town, but there are many persons that may not know the Gene Fleming that we know and love. So, tell us a little bit about, about you. Well, I started uh, my career with the town in the uh, school system. And I worked for the school system in their data processing department for nine years. And then I came to the town hall as assistant town clerk. And later in that year, I was appointed the full-time town clerk, serving 25 years in that position. Mm. And then Somewhere along the way, I got the job of town clerk and assistant town manager. <laughs> so they combined the two positions. And uh, then almost at the end of my career, uh, the town manager resigned <laughs> and they appointed me as town manager. And I served in that position for about two and a half years. Great, that's, you know, that's such an extraordinary commitment to a town, to government. I mean, people don't understand what it is to be in, well, obviously, certain of those positions were appointed positions, certainly um, in, uh, on the town side. Um, but um, now, you know, if you choose to run after this term, you know, you'll be an elected official as Adam has been. Adam, I want to talk about your experiences. I served under you as a town meeting rep uh, for, I believe, well, uh, for one term mm -hmm. of my two terms is of s sitting as a town meeting representative for Precinct 4. There were many things that you were looking to uh, change mm -hmm. and enhance. And quite frankly, having sat in the audience during town meeting, I can say that you did. Uh, as you know, I'm a, one on the length of town meeting and the 10 people who have much to say. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately don't win the vote, but uh, <laughs> nonetheless. But I know there are things that you attempted to institute. Let's talk about your tenure. What, what type of advice would you pass along to, uh, to now, soon to be moderator Fleming uh, yeah. as you go forth? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I, I'm in no position to give Gene Fleming advice. Let me first say that because Gene Fleming has been giving me advice for many years now. So um, uh, I, I think, I mean, Gene knows what she's doing when it comes to running a meeting. And, she, and that was proven at this past year's, at this past annual town meeting when uh, my father's illness called me back to South Carolina for, for two nights of town meeting this past year. And as he entered into hospice care in the middle of, in the middle of our town meeting and uh, Gene took the gavel, and I, I was I was watching the meetings on Smack from South Carolina when I was down there, mm -hmm. and and uh, and I, I I thought to myself then, there's Gene is terrific. I mean, she's just terrific. She runs she runs a great tight meeting. Um, she's fair. She's neutral. She's uh, she, she's and I expected nothing less. I, I knew that if 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 for whatever reason I was unable to be at the podium for either one night or as it turns out now a few months. Um, I, I knew from the beginning that Jean would always be 
the right person to step into that role. And and so that's one. That's so as I now take my leave of Stoughton and as of and of this office as moderator at the beginning of July, um, I, I do so with. Um, nothing but high hopes and great expectations because I know that Gene here is 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 the right person to, to continue out that term. If I, I I just if anybody was going to finish out my term, if I couldn't do it, I'm glad it's Gene. Well let me just say this. I didn't know about your dad. I don't yeah. know the his, his situation now, yeah. uh if he's still with us. Yes. I wish him uh you know, I wish him Godspeed. Thank you. Uh in his um in his healing. Thank you. Um, I know those can be trying times, so Indeed. I definitely want to say that to you. Yeah. Um, before I pass to Gene to get a sense of what your thinking might be, what were some of the things that if you, uh, now see, sometimes when you're leaving, you can say all the things that you would have wanted to say uh, when you couldn't, uh, <laughs> that you're going to be possibly standing for re-election, sure. and you were, you were unopposed, in fact, with your re-election efforts in the, in, in the, in the last because each uh, the moderator is annual, uh, and you are uh, unopposed, so that's definitely a good sign. And in terms of we appreciated you serving in that role, but if if you had your druthers in terms of things as you reflectively look back, what are some of the things that you would say that you would might want to change or would be looking to change if you were still uh, in the position? Yeah, I mean when I when I got elected, um, you know I. I First of all, you know, I, I come in the very, very long line of town moderators in this town. I mean, there's the, the, the job of town moderator and in town government predates the revolution in, in mm -hmm. Stoughton and in, and in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So, um, so you know, I, I've inherited centuries worth of wisdom in this job. Um, um, my, my hope was simply to tighten up our processes and, and to bring a sense of of real sort of neutrality to the moderator's chair that I, I don't think that was necessarily missing, but I thought I was in a u unique position having not been involved deeply in town in, in, in town government prior to being elected moderator, I, I felt that I, I could really sort of highlight the importance of the neutrality of this role. Um, and that turned out to be, I think, especially important when, whenever at the end, it, soon after I was elected, we faced then a recall election in town, which turned out to be a uh, it, it's its own set of complications that I, I think I was in a unique position to remain neutral and to, in, in some small way, hopefully have both sides talking to each other. Um, that was unexpected, but I was glad I was in that position to be able to facilitate that. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, one of the things that that I would have liked to have accomplished and would and I think is now in motion to be accomplished is some rethinking around. Um, uh, some of the charter mandated pieces of our town meeting uh, and how things work. I think that the charter was written at a time that that made sense in Stoughton and and I think the charter um, uh, you know so when it comes to things like the length of term for the moderator, the um, uh, some of the uh, some how the hearings happen and how and how the charter sort of spells out. Uh, all the way down to the letter of how organizational town meeting. In fact, I think comes it out. wasn't I mean, back uh, in 1975. Was it sometime in the 70s that's when they last all this, yeah. when all this was all review. this was written? So, so mm -hmm. I, I would have liked to have had more time to have been able to address those items. And and I and now now that we have a charter review committee together that's working on those things today, I, I would have certainly loved to have been around to have presided over those changes. Um, I am, however, glad that those changes are now. I think in in the beginnings of being in motion, but um, m much of what many of us get frustrated about in our system in town in town meeting right now really has points back to the charter and and to a charter that I think you know was written at a place in a, in a, at a time when Stoughton was a different place with different with with different issues and I think a charter has to be a living breathing document that that always has to be in a place that it that it um, works for the needs of the town today and. I think we have some work to do in order to make that happen, and so and that's and, and that I believe certainly Gene and 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 Gene's and my my and Gene's successors in this role, I think will will probably play an important role in making sure those things happen. Well, Gene, I you know that's that's almost a great segue to you uh, because you now will, as they say, inherit the wind. Um, you have because. For many years, we we in town meeting and in fact in the town period, or were expressing some trepidation with regards to the charter and wanted the charter review, and it was always talked about, talked about, talked about, but never became a living, breathing um, uh, committee. And until 
you came along as Adam and put that in place. So now you have one, Gene. You have, uh, you know, again, you've been both an observer and a participant in town governance. What are some of your thoughts as to what you would like to accomplish uh, during your tenure as moderator? Well, I would like to um, bring the chatter up to date for, you know, what's happening in the town of Stoughton. Um, unfortunately, I do not see the Charter Review Committee as making major changes to the Charter. Uh, if we were to start a Charter Commission, that would be an individual or individuals from the town because it's up to the town's people to decide what kind of a form of government they want. That's right. So we will be making adjustments mm -hmm. to some of the terms of office, and, but n not making major changes. I'm glad that you raised that, um, you know, and, and Adam knows well of my sentiments, and, you know, and I've expressed them here, and I've expect, expressed it to anybody who would listen. Uh, in terms of my, my concerns about the form of, of, of government that we have here in terms of representative town meeting, um, because majority of people don't participate. They're there, but they don't really engage in the, uh, even during the town meeting. And I think your point is well taken that while we, and I'm going to just use this and I'm not being at all disrespectful, you, under the review committee, the charter review committee, you tinker with the charter right. around the edges. Right. Yes. Right. But you're not going to go in there and come up with a set of recommendations as to whether we continue in this form or not. That's going to have to be occur elsewhere. Yes. It takes a commission to make sweeping changes to a charter and, and that, that's not something that the moderator no. or even the town meeting, I think, has the power to call. I think that's, isn't that called by the selectmen? Isn't, um, that, isn't that right? Or no, is that, actually. Or so it is called by the town meeting, isn't it? That? Right. It's a petition. Right, that's right, it is. To the yeah. town to set that's up right. a charter commission. That's and exactly it's a long right. process, yeah. as I recall, yeah. uh, just, uh, I haven't examined it personally, but uh, isn't it a fairly involved process to get to, uh, if you will, the charter commission and the processes that it has to go through in order to get anything adopted. Is that, am, am I correct that it, 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 it's a number of years? It's time consuming. Yes, yes. yes. it is. Yeah, but it is. It's a, if you want to make a major change in your form of government, you have to do it yeah. the right way and you have to study, you know, how it's going to work. And yeah, well, it's interesting because we had that happen in Framingham. We had that happen in Randolph. They all went to, those are two that I'm familiar with that uh, uh, did a change in government. You know, I personally think it's worth exploring and, um, you know, but I gather the petition has to be made by a town meeting representative, uh, not just any citizen. Uh, no, any citizen. Any citizen right. can do it. Yes. Right. Okay, well, I guess That's I need right. to study what the rules are mm. <laughs> and uh, find out what the process is. But let me go to my sponsors right now, but I do want to come back have some more conversation about, uh, and particularly with you, Gene, because you're going to be going into the role, how you look at it, you have the, right now, the town moderator has awesome power in terms of appointment of persons to committees, um, how the meeting is run, um, you know, the, uh, the finance committee particularly. So I want to talk about that whole process when we come back. Hi, this is Roy Cohen. The crew would like to thank mm, 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 mm. Maxie's Delicatessen, located at 117 Sharon Street in Stoughton. You can reach them by calling 781-341-1662. The American Cancer Society is looking for volunteers to drive cancer patients to and from treatments. You can volunteer by calling 1-800-ACS-6662 or online at www.cancer.org. Il Samox Food Pantry and St. Anthony's Free Market is located at 2 Park Avenue in Stoughton. For more information, call Christine Gallagher at 781-341-0611 or 781-341-0549. To get involved with Meals on Wheels, call Jessica at 781-344 8882 extension 2. The Stoughton Penny Saver. Our business is advertising your business in Stoughton. To advertise, call 781 344 
1-800-273-4833. Community Forum Showtimes here in Stoughton. You can see it on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 6 p.m., Monday at 8 p.m., Tuesday at 5 p.m., either on Comcast Channel 9 or Verizon Channel 28. If you have any comments or suggestions, contact us at communityforum1 at yahoo.com. Samaritans, 41 West Street, 4th floor in Boston, Massachusetts, 02111, or call them at 617-536-2460. The 24-hour helplines, 877-870-HOPE, or 877-870-4673. Samaritans, 800-252-TEEN, or 800-252-8336, or online, www.samaritanshope.org. For you bingo players, I want to tell you about the Monday Night Bingo being held at the Ahava Torah Congregation, 1179 Central Street in Stoughton. The doors open at 4.30 p.m. The game start at 6.30 p.m. You come on down and win some money. They have two big prizes. One is $1,199 and the other one is up to $3,000. So come on down. Well, we here at SMAC and particularly Community Forum are thankful to Maxis for providing us with food on each one of our programs and want to say that uh, mm, 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 their food is good. And now they're serving <laughs> dinner on Thursdays and Fridays from 4 to 8 p.m. I'm glad they start at 4 for our senior citizens. <laughs> uh, uh, so in terms of that's a great thing. So we recommend you go to Maxie's, definitely have a great meal there. If you're just tuning in, this is Community Forum. I have two excellent and uh, influential guests uh, on my program today. One is the town, town moderator who is leaving us to, to go into the seminary to be an ordained priest, and that's Adam Dawkins, and the deputy moderator who is soon to become the moderator and assume that position in July, and that's Gene Fleming. Uh, on the first half of the program, we, uh, we talked about a number of things, uh, but wanted to focus upon in a few moments that we have left, I want to talk about and, and each of you can speak to this, uh, you know, and, and Adam, I'm going to give you the chance because Gene has to worry about being elected. You're okay at this point. You're going to heaven already. So, uh, you know, so therefore we got it, uh, you know, I'm still working on it, uh, you know, but I'm not running for anything but cover. So that's, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about, Gene, you're going to have a number of appointments. I'm sure that you and Adam will collaborate on some of those conversations as to the appointments because it's so critical who serves on what committees. I know that the precincts have some responsibility for electing people to those positions or appointing persons to electing, I guess they elect them, to the positions. But there is a significant number of persons that a moderator can. So why don't you either one of you walk us through so everyone knows out there, those who may want to come on town meeting and become a town meeting rep and run for it. And I guess I guess I am an elected official. I'm elected town, when I was, I was elected town meeting rep. Yes. But anyway, right. what is the appointment authorities that the town moderator has? Well, the town moderator has appointments to the finance committee, to uh, the other three standing committees, municipal operations, municipal regulations, and intergovernmental relations. And that's a majority in those as well, is yes. that correct? Uh, the, the, moder the, 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 the moderator has one appointment, one appointment to each of the standing committees, yeah. except for finance committees. The finance committee, the finance committee the, 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 it, it's nine appointments to the finance committee okay. for three-year terms. Okay. Yeah, so this year, this year the moderator has, has two appointments to, their two seats up uh, for appointments in, in, in uh, the finance committee and then one on each of the standing committees, so intergovernmental relations, municipal operation, municipal regulations, and then also the, the, the temporary committee, which has been temporary since the 1970s, the Charter Review Committee. The moderator has one appointment to that as well. And I just want to say in terms of the, over the years, uh, and I'm not sure if it has changed, the finance committee is inordinately powerful in its role as, it, as they bring forward uh, their votes to the, uh, to the town meeting. 
and uh, in, 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 in many times in the past, even more so than their Board of Selectmen in the sense of their influence in terms of town meeting. Um, the, the find, just to tell folks, let's, if you would, explain what, if you would, what each of those committees do with respect to our governance here in Stoughton. Well, the Finance Committee creates the, and crafts the town budget and deals with financial matters that come before them uh, that having to do with town finances. The Municipal Operations Committee really has to do with the operations of, um, uh, of various town departments and, and how they interact with the town and each other. Uh, in, intergovernmental relations has to do with Stoughton and anytime we're engaging uh, the state or another municipality or the federal government in any kind of a uh, project or conversation or what have you, they get involved in that. And municipal regulations uh, has to do largely with with uh, laws and, and, and bylaws and what have you and zoning issues. Um, and then um, and then of course charter review has to do with the the as, as Jean put it earlier I think sort of tinkering with with the charter because it's not it's not <laughs> the sweeping I, changes but I, well but you, I'll, you put I'll it that say, way or I'll, I put it that I'll way say, I'm not gonna, I'll claim no, that I'm, no, gonna, I'm no, saying I'll claim it I'm, okay, I'm not going to put it on Jean <laughs> Jean says it's such an awesome body that's right that's right that's right that's right um, but, but yeah, yeah so that, so that that's kind of a quick overview of what they we each, what each of the committees do well I'm before I want to just want to thank the folks who helped put this together and I'm going to give each of you a moment to be able to say a few last comments to uh, to our viewing audience and I want to say special thanks to Michael Hammond uh, who heads up the efforts over here at SMAC, Jeff Pickett the program uh, director, Leo McGowan uh, who in his absence was the one who was the floor general here with the cameras but uh, is recuperating but Frank Walsh who has several pro two programs on uh, on SMAC has filled in in that role quite ably to CJ Bullen who works with Jeff Pickett my esteemed executive producer Roy Cohen uh, and um, I know and and Gina Cole who uh, who helped produce the program. So I always want to say thank you to them. And last but not least, the person I fear most is Dave Young because he does the editing and try to catch <laughs> all of us for the bloopers. Right. We have a few seconds left. Um, I'm going to let you say a few parting right. words, and as you as well, Gene, uh, anything that you want to say to our viewing audience. So I just want to say as I take my leave, I, it, it, Stoughton is my hometown. Uh, I will miss Stoughton tremendously over the next few years while I'm away in seminary. I carry each of you in my heart and in my prayers to the, the seminary in beautiful Sewanee, Tennessee, where I'll be for the next three years up in what we call the Holy Mountain there. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, then I hope to see you all again when I'm, when I'm back. And Jean? Thank you. Um, I was very honored to serve with Adam. He's a great moderator. And I will be helping him make his last appointments to the committees and it's always a pleasure to serve the people of Stoughton. And I want to thank you both for being on Community Forum today. Thank you thank very you. much.